During the overload principle training, you want to make sure that you increase the amount of resistance that you're using for those exercises, increasing the speed of movement for those exercises, or you're changing the exercise to create a more difficult exercise for that child to perform. So if we have a child going down into a regular squat, make sure that they're perfecting that squat before you add resistance. So let's start with just a regular squat. Have your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, and I want you to go down for a squat. I just want you to have your hands in front so you go down, good form, and then come up tall. Then you can add resistance to that squat so that now they're pulling against that resistance, creating more strength in the body. This is gonna give you guys that extra resistance, so I still want you to have good form. Have your feet shoulder width apart. Your hands are gonna be to the side of your body. And squat now, you're holding on to weight. Come up, good. harder, their form might change. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to that. The next movement that you would do, drop the resistance and speed it up. So now you're adding speed and strength to the movement. So that changes the dynamic of the exercise, but you're still overloading that lower body strength. So now that squat with that weight was hard, but now let's add a jump to make that squat faster. You're adding that speed of the movement and that is how we can overload the body to get stronger. The last progression would be to make the exercise a little bit harder. Okay, so that would be a single-legged squat. A single-legged squat is one of the most challenging exercises they can get to. It's an easy thing to implement into their daily activities so that they can continue to get stronger and become healthier adults.